Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Hong Kong right now, near near my local streets, walking around, and I'm going over to one of the restaurants that I should usually really like to go before. But right now, when I was in Perth earlier on, they changed the uh, the band managers and also changed the uh, the boss. So that's how they ended up actually changed the name of the restaurant and also probably have some renovation and change now. So, but I'm still going over there to try it out for the first time after it's got changed. And also, I just want to say how she give you an example of how the uh, delays in Hong Kong is actually like. Here's uh, one of the uh, newly built hotels, which is renovated before, which is renovated. And then it's set to actually be completed by 2019. And then, but ended off, they actually just started building it in 2019. So that's why they ended off still haven't completed it yet. Okay, the outer structure is ready to go, but they're still constructing things. So that's why you see how terrible the delays is in Hong Kong. They, they said to be finished by 2019, but ended off starting, starting building it, starting to build it in 2019. So I was like, what the hell? Well, we're going to walk to the front here. We have some of the older streets here. Of course, Perth viewers might be thinking, what the hell is this suburb so old? Yeah, it is an older suburb, but we have more buildings over there, which is under MTR for Whole Mountain Station. That's literally above Whole Mountain Station for the construction work over there. And the restaurant's right next to this uh, gas station over here, car wash here. It's one of the uh, smaller Hong Kong style Western food. Hong Kong style Western cuisine, yes, basically is that. So here we are at the front here, which is, I think it's called Eight Station Restaurant or something like that. So right here, we've just come down from Whole Mountain Station, will be exit B1 over there. And here it is, Eight Station, yes. Let's get inside. All right, so sat down now. And uh, unfortunately, it's actually sitting next to people, which is actually kind of awkward always. But I've ordered now. They still actually have some very similar menus as before. That's why I ordered what I always actually go with, which is actually the uh, so, which is actually the chicken chop, which is always what I actually go with before from when I still have in the old restaurant. And they still have the soup, and they also still probably have a garlic bread coming up. So for the lunch set. And um, also you can, this is Hong Kong style Western cuisine, so that's why you have a main dish. And you're gonna choose your own sides, which is always, they always gonna ask you, rice, spaghetti, or potato. And of course I almost all the time goes with potato, and I saw it's already a mashed potatoes vibe. Which is actually the better ones, because if you ask, always ask for potatoes, they usually give you potato chips. Which is french fries. And then you also can choose for extra $10 for, cap, for the, uh, for the capellini. It's actually the, uh, the uh, angel hair spaghetti noodles, which I usually don't go with spaghetti because I don't think it's actually that great. So that's why. And then of course we have the lunch set with soup and garlic bread. And also I add in, always you can come with drinks and it's always, I always go with, I always go with ice lemon water most of the time because it's actually a more healthy choice. And also I know it's ice, but you can go with hot, which doesn't add any extra money, but if you actually go with ice, this is actually plus four dollars, which is complete ripoff. Before it's only like plus two or plus three. Now it's plus four now, which is basically the price are going up. So that's why, even though like like before I said Australian things are so expensive now, since I come back to Hong Kong, it's like everything is also very similar in terms of the price. But let's stick into the soup. I have no idea what this is soup. I don't know what that is, but it's like more like a mushroom soup or something and ice lemon water. Yeah, let's, 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 just, let's just try. Okay, so it's, uh, I can already taste it right away, it's just candied soup, but whatever. It's already how Hong Kong stuff is gonna be mostly expected. Let's wait for our chicken. Okay, so finished off the soup. Yeah, I know it's canned soup, but all of you guys might be thinking, eh, canned soup. Well, 
that live in Hong Kong that long, a lot of places actually do the same thing. <laughs> so that's why. But I look forward to the main course. Let's see how the chicken steak is going to be after they change the, the, uh, the managers. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad compared with before. It's still pretty similar with this big piece of chicken steak here. And also we have mashed potatoes this time. Before it's actually potatoes for the old restaurant. Potatoes instead of mashed potatoes, just like cute potatoes. And also veg has way more veg now. Before it's only have like two to three pieces. Let's do it with the mushroom sauce at the bottom. Now right now if the chicken steak is unfortunate, it's already always set with what sauce you can actually get. Only have three choices. Before actually, they are actually changing it every single week with a different sauce, but you cannot choose before. Mm. Mm. So before you cannot choose the sauce, Every single time the chicken steak comes with a set sauce, but now it's... So, it just stops keep on walking around, so that's why I just keep on cutting. But before the sauce is actually set for that weeks, they change it every week. And then they have a different sauce every single time, so that's why it's actually having more chopped up just longer time. But right now the steak is actually set with three sauces you can choose, so that's why unfortunately it's actually a little bit... I will say is like the choices went down for the stuff, but the chicken steak still looks very, very decent. Let's kind of dive right into that right now. Mm. Mm. Still very very decent. Chicken is very meaty, very juicy. Um, a little bit softer for the for the meat, which I actually prefer a little bit on the um, harder side. Mmm, mashed potatoes, good though. Unfortunately, if you actually go with a Master Chef standard, this is like fail because it's very lumpy. But I don't care. It's delicious. Pretty creamy. And I'm not over kicking with the cream. Mm. Oh, chicken steak, very crispy. Ooh. Let's go with a little bit of mash on there. Mm. Can't really taste a whole lot from the sauce at the bottom. Yeah, this sauce at the bottom is uh, kind of lacking in flavor. Hang on. Mm. If I directly taste the sauce, I can taste things, but not really with the steak and stuff, though. Mm. Overall, still very decent. It's just I prefer the old restaurant a little, lot more. All right, last bite here. Now, there's actually one thing that I really like about the plate is somehow, after I eat it for so long already, everything is still quite burning hot. So, uh, the chicken steak is all right, the, the temperature, but the mashed potatoes, it was still burning hot after like so long, but here's the last bite here. Oh man, okay, hang on. There we go. Mm. Now first I clear off the whole plate, which is actually very good. Still one of my favorite things to eat is actually chicken steaks, but because they're so tender and uh, pretty good. Like way better than like steak all the time, but they actually also offer lamb chops, pork chops, steaks, all that stuff, and also the uh, also some spaghettis and rice and all that stuff. Also a lot of choices, and also there are some side dishes that you can actually order, like chicken wings, 
salads and all that stuff. Which is okay actually in terms of actually a lunch menu. Honestly speaking here in Hong Kong, if you have to eat outside, most of the time we'll be eating outside for lunchtime if I'm only on myself and sometimes maybe at nighttime for some fancy dinner with my parents. But yep, that's it for today's Just an Eater episode. Overall speaking, the taste is very good, four out of five. The environment's do the same, I'll go with 3.5 out of five and the service is three out of five because most of the time it's actually just self-service. They just serve you the things and you don't talk. So. Overall speaking, a 3.5 out of 5 for 8 station. It's one of the average scores because if it's actually still macaroni from before, which is the old shop is actually called macaroni, I'll be giving it a 4 out of 5 because that's way better than this one, in my opinion, because they actually really have a more dense packed... Because old macaroni actually has a more dense meat for the chicken steak instead of actually a soft steak like I had today but the flavor is there it's just I prefer the uh, denser meat and also the uh, good old potatoes before so but overall speaking still pretty decent and uh, I will probably come again but I just missed the good old macaroni hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram Click on these videos up here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!